And today's announcement is another example of the fact that the, uh, the federal government is progressively recognizing uh, the University of Louisville as a place uh, that has expertise in the environmental impact on the human body. This award is $6.7 million, so this is not a, a trivial award by any means. This is a really substantial uh, amount of funding to, to look at this serious problem. The goal of our center is to understand the cardiometabolic toxicity of these compounds. How do they affect uh, insulin resistance? Uh, do they cause diabetes? Do they affect liver? How do they affect uh, cardiovascular disease and so forth? In our preliminary studies, we have found that in, in some of the areas in the West Louisville uh, that there are some hot spots of where these uh, levels of these chemicals such as trichloroethylene or TCE and butadienes are increased uh, near the Superfund sites and in the rubber town area, which is the industrial place. So these are some of the premier chemicals that we will be studying in our program. You know, I talk about our city values every day, so I'm going to do it today, right now. You know, and the city values are lifelong learning, health, and compassion. And I'm really excited to say that this project today really combines all of those values beautifully and powerfully in the work of the dedicated scientists and the researchers here at the University of Louisville and in the vision for the U of L Superfund Research Center as well. To me, this is a historic achievement uh, for the University of Louisville and a proud day for the city of Louisville as well. And this research that this grant will make possible will benefit our citizens and help us understand what we need to do to help more of our citizens live longer, fuller, healthier lives.